what's up guys welcome back to the cowl vault and in today's video it's unboxing time all right guys so i don't want to waste any more time i just want to get right into this box you already know what it is by the title of the video this is the brand new robert pattinson the batman 2021 cowl from fanatic effects now i ordered this about a month ago and it was stuck in customs in toronto for like two weeks so i really hope that it's not mangled and squished because it's been sitting in the box for so long so i don't want to waste any more time i just want to get this out of here also in here is my keaton gloves these are the first castings of urethane 1989 michael keaton batman gloves now, these are going to be for my life-size Keaton display. These are wearable, but they're made of urethane, so they're going to be very, very hot and very, very uncomfortable. So I am totally fine with them being made of urethane because they're just going to be for display. But I've already gone ahead and removed the tape. Let's open this up and let's see what's in here. All right, so here I believe is the cowl. Okay, this pack is real nice. There it is, guys. The Robert Pattinson Batman cowl. Now, it does look a little mangled at the moment, but it doesn't look like it has too much damage. It does look like it will retake its shape if it's out of the box for a little while here. So here it is. Sorry about that guys. I let my brother know that I was doing an unboxing video and he still felt the need to come out here and bother me. So again, here it is. The brand new Robert Pattinson Batman cowl. Um, like I said, it does look a little mangled at the moment, um, but it will retake its shape when it's out of the box for a little while. I really hope that none of this damage is permanent because again, it was stuck in customs for like oh, like two weeks, stuck in this box. So I'm gonna stuff this and I'm gonna leave it for a while, but it does look like it will retake its shape. It doesn't look like anything majorly wrong. Like you can see the back is perfectly fine. The side looks really nice. See that detail there? Um, it just looks like the front of the head just has a bit of an indent. So I'm just gonna wait for it to retake its shape. Um, I'm just gonna put some stuffing in it, maybe try and force those areas back into shape a little bit. But there it is, the brand new Robert Pattinson Batman cowl. This will be reviewed on the channel. Don't worry guys, this will be reviewed. Right now, it's just the unboxing. You can see the stitching detail on it. It's got the really nice stitching detail all throughout, along the top, and along the back. So in the movie, this is, uh, this is made of like leather, um, but this one here is made of urethane. Um, but it is got the leather stitching detail on the surface of the urethane. Let's see if I can get it to focus. But it does have the leather stitching on the surface of the detail, even there on the nose. Um, again, it just needs to sit out of the box for a little while because it, it's been sitting in customs for like two weeks. And whenever a rubber mask sits in a box and it's getting hotter outside, um, it morphs the plastic, not the plastic, it morphs the rubber, and then your rubber gets really deformed and it's almost unfixable. So I really hope that this just comes out. It does look very, very minuscule on mine. So it does look like it should just come out in time. Um, but this is really, really cool. So this is the newest Batman cowl from the Matt Reeves movie, The Batman. So there's the cowl, okay. Now I'm gonna see what else is in here.
Okay, so here are the Keaton gloves. Oh, these are actually really massive. Look how big these are. So these are the Keaton gloves. So it's got the palm detail on it. It's got the rivets there on the top, the rivets here, the one extra line. Um, it has slots for the fins to go through. Um, and they're just filled right now. But I'm actually like curious to see how they go on. So yeah, they do go on and you can, you can wear them, but again, they're made of urethane. So they're going to be like, this is really, really stiff. Okay. Plus these ones were cast in task 16, which is a sturdier urethane. These were the test castings and uh, Fanatic Effects sold me these for only a hundred dollars flat. Um, I believe the ones that he is going to make av available are going to be cast in a lower shore of urethane, so that they're a lot more flexible. But you do have complete flex in these. Um, they're just like you're getting a workout because this is made of rubber, and you really have to force everything to do what you want it to do. But these are uh, the Keaton gloves. And I believe that there's a left and a right. So here's the other one. Again, there's the fins. It's that nice detail there. And the fact that these are made of urethane is really, really cool because then they hold that shape. Even when there's no stuffing in them, they hold that hand shape. They don't like close in on each other. On, on themselves. So these are going to be great for my life-size Keaton because they'll just maintain that that natural hand form So yeah, those are the gloves And then it looks like there's something else in here. I don't know what these are Oh, he did send them Weird, okay He told me he told me that he didn't have these available, but now he does. Um, he said that he sent some extra stuff in the box. He didn't tell me what it was. He just said that there was some extra stuff in the box. So I had told you guys that I might do some giveaways, but I don't have anything to give away now. Like this is all he sent was the gauntlet armor. Um, but don't worry, we'll do a giveaway in the future. Um, I am, I, I'm not planning on leaving you guys hanging. I would like to do a giveaway. We're almost at 700 subs. I would love to do a giveaway. Don't worry, I'm not uh, excluding anybody. But these are the forearm sections for the gauntlets. So they actually go on here like this. They look a little long though. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll have to just trim away a little bit the top there. Um, but they do look a little long, but this is how the Keaton gloves should look. And then the fins pop out, and I have the fins downstairs. So these are the Keaton gloves. But I'm really glad that he sent these because people want, for, for a pair of these, okay, just these really simple pieces, people want like $60 Canadian. Why? Why? They're just two flat pieces of rubber. $60 Canadian. So I'm really grateful that Fanatic Effects just sent these in the box without charging me because I don't want to pay $60 for two flat pieces of rubber with the minimum amount of detail in them just to go on here. Like ultimately, I would have just made these out of craft foam. But those are the Keaton gloves. So we got a left and a right. And again, because they're made of urethane, they maintain that that natural hand shape, um, which is really, really cool. So there are the hands for my life-size Keaton. That is awesome. That is so awesome. And then, yes, we have the brand new Robert Pattinson Batman cowl from the new 2021 
the Batman movie. I believe that Fanatic FX is the first one um, to offer these. There's people making them now, like uh, like 3D printing them and getting them ready for molding. Um, but I believe that Fanatic FX is the first one to actually, to production, you can order this right now. The brand new 2021 Batman cowl. So there it is. So that was a really, really nice unboxing. Thank you to Fanatic Effects for sending um, these extra gauntlet pieces because now I don't have to fork out like $60 for two flat pieces of rubber. And yeah, that's the unboxing, guys. I'm sorry this one was done outside. I Today was my first day back to work. So um, this package just arrived. I came out here to unbox it because... My brother's in there vacuuming, my mom's in there doing her hair and a bunch of stuff, so it's just way too much noise. And my brother even managed to bug, bug me after I told him I was coming out here to do a friggin' unboxing. He still came out here to bug me. So I, I apologize for the format, being out here in the garage, but I was too excited and I wanted to get this out of the box because it's been sitting in customs for two weeks. And I'm really hoping that a lot of this weird deformity that's in the face here is just going to come out. It looks like it should. It doesn't look like it's too bad. But yeah, there it is. The new Robert Pattinson Batman cowl from The Batman 2021 directed by Matt Reeves. This is really cool. I haven't tried it on yet because again, I just got home from work. My hair is all like gross and sweaty. So I'd like to have a shower before I try and put that on. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I know a lot of people are looking forward to this unboxing. Me too, especially since it's been sitting in customs for so long. I just really want to get it out of that box. And now that I have it, I feel a lot better. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out and be good people.